All right, so Dan and I just got here to turn 14, and uh, we're gonna go pick up some parts for the S14 and S15. Thank you, sir. How's it going, Jeff? Yo, what up, dog? How you doing? Good, this is man. Paul from Turn 14. How's it going, guys? And uh, we're yeah, he is going to let us walk around and pick up our parts, uh, and we'll show you what's going on. All right, lead the way, sir. Follow me. So, first, this is our lobby. Obviously, our offices used to be here, um, but we had to relocate as the company grew. Um, our offices are now in Horsham. Um, so our warehouse is 52,000 square feet. Um, the offices used to be on that side, but now it's all just warehouse space. Um, we also have our Turn 14 wall, which you can see over there. Um, it basically feeds off of all social media. So anytime you hashtag Turn 14 wall or T14 wall, um, your picture will show up on this TV and the famous TV guys in our office. Post it. Post some. Tag me, and I might send you a shirt or stickers. But as you can see, Daihiro Yoshihara. He's awesome. He's also on turn 14 wall. So check normally, it out. So normally, um, obviously people would come in, they'd pick up the phone that's on the reception desk there. Um, somebody in the back would answer it and uh, they would come and bring the parts. So we're gonna do it a little differently and we're gonna pick our own parts. But uh, right here is the pickup section. So normally your parts would be waiting either on this table or one of these two tables. Um, you would simply sign the pickup sheet. Um, and leave it here with the warehouse associate and then you'd be off with your parts. It's that easy. So let's go pick some parts. So we check out all this stuff, man. Lead the way. All right. As you can see, there's shelves and shelves and shelves of just performance parts. Here comes Joe with order one. Sweet. Cool. Yeah. Next up, uh, Motul stuff? Motul, yeah. yeah. So you can see they have aisles. So yeah, each, each aisle is labeled with a, uh, a letter. And, uh, so they'll know, they'll differentiate whether it's going to be a high or low. Um, obviously, he was just picking high, which means he had to get the picker out. Uh, to go pick the, the red line parts for you guys. Um, they use a tablet, and on the tablet, it'll give the part number, description. Um, once they pick the part, they, uh, they put in the quantity that they picked. Um, if the part's not available, obviously they do what they need to do on that section, but um, here it is again, you know, it'll tell you exactly. So each shelf is labeled, um, so it starts out 1C, 15A, then it'll go up from there. So you can see 1C, 2C, 2C, um, Joe, is this whole section's 2C? Yeah, 2C. So 2 on high from this rack on high on is 2. Yep. From this rack below is all down low. Down low. So Damn. 1 will be low, 2 will be high, and then the shelves are all labeled uh, starting out. So many. I know, right? Endless. This is like a parts warehouse galore. I know, it's a car guy's dream. I know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Joe. Yeah. No problem. Man. Awesome, Joe. Thank you. No problem. So once he picks all the parts, um, he's going to mark that he picked every part on that pick list. Um, the pick lists come down every hour until 3 o'clock, then they come down every 15 minutes. Um, obviously, we want to get as many orders out. Um, we will get every order out the door that's placed before 7 p.m. Eastern Time, um, and everything will ship out by then. So, uh, Sweet. Hustling. Yeah. See, these guys are constantly Constant. picking Non-stop. And it's funny that he was saying... In orders usually get out by 7 because I usually place mine at like 6.45 every day. And then uh, I usually I'll just come up early in the morning and pick it up and then head to the shop. So. Yeah. yeah, I mean as long as we, now obviously our customer support team, they can place orders for our customers as well. Um, so it's as long as that order is placed before 7, obviously these guys will be here picking until you know 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock, whatever it takes um, to get every order that was placed before 7 p.m. Eastern time out the door. So. Um, that's one of the positive things. So you can see like how big, uh, how, yeah, big, how it big it is. Yeah. How many shelves go all the way up? Like, uh, what's the rack? It all depends. Some of the racks have more <laughs> shelves than others. Um, yeah. Obviously, stuff that has like ARP, you know, and the brake rotors. 
Um, there's going to be more shelves per, per section. But then when you get bigger stuff like these intakes, they'll have less self, shelves per section. So yeah. it really depends on, on the part, how big the boxes are going to be. Um, and obviously we have we have inventory specialists who handle placement of all the parts. Mm. Um, obviously we like to keep the brands together, um, keep similar parts together. This way they're easy to pick. Uh, you can see like right here we have all the uh, Tanabe um, back here, AM, ABO. Um, so we, we again keep all the brands together, makes it easier when you're picking stuff. Yeah. You can see like that whole section all up there, stop tech, and that goes all the way down. Um, so, you know, the guys, the inventory specialists, they know where to put everything. Every shelf is... is accounted for as far as like size area brand type of product that's on it um, to make it as efficient as possible when these guys are out here picking and putting away um, as well yeah this is I, as much as this place is awesome I wouldn't want to be a part of like the <laughs> inventory on this part yeah like uh, yeah yearly inventory yeah like yep. there's just rows and rows and rows like if I did a selfie against this I'd look like an ant mm -hmm. and then once the parts are all picked they bring them over into these sections over here um, what they're going to do is parts get picked and order sheets get printed so that we can again double check to make sure all the correct parts were picked and that the order is all together as one order nice um, so you can see these guys here are already you know unloading parts that are about to get um, picked into their individual orders packaged up they go on the roller um, they get their labels and they ship out to the customers um, it's pretty easy so for example, if you come over this way real quick. Once they get picked in, they're all, you can see all these sheets on the outside of the boxes. Mm -hmm. Then they get labeled. Uh, everything then rolls onto these rollers, onto the back of this UPS trailer, and then off to the country they go. 83% uh, of the country is two day, 100% um, of the country is three days or less, and 33% of the country is within one day. So our shipping times are great. Um, obviously, we have this warehouse here. We also have another warehouse in Reno, Nevada. Both are 52,000 square feet. Um, and this way, we can cover as much of the country as we can and guarantee that your packages can arrive as fast as you can. Oh, yeah, that's sick. All these parts, I wish they were going to the shop. They just <laughs> drop them all off. I wish they were going to my shop. I know, right? The garage. <laughs> hey, we could pull like a Fast and Furious thing and just like... I don't know. Don't, I don't, don't tell anyone. I, I don't think take... Civics really fit underneath tractor trailers, so... though. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So then... Please. Nice curbside pickup. Should take this bike and take it for a spin, Dan. Alright. So you can see they have this badass truck right here. Sweet. It's it's badass. It run ran uh I want to say it was 12 three and a quarter mile at our company track day. Oh really? Like 138 miles an hour, something crazy like that. That's insane. It's really gnarly, so it's fun. It's a fun truck to drive. It's great for transporting stuff back and forth between the office and the warehouse, so yeah. can't complain. We should see how well it tows race cars. Uh, right? <laughs> race car. They actually just towed uh, one of our sales guys' parts to the Bushar shootout, actually, in that truck. Oh, really? Yeah. You got bike problems? One of our guys has a uh, Shep's old Evo. Oh, yeah. It's like a nine-second Evo, but he wasn't running nine seconds. Curbside pickup right there. Curbside, dude. Easy as that. You can see Paul. You can see the door. You can see our curbside pickup. All right, so we're back at the shop. We're gonna unload this stuff and get to work because time is money. Yeah. Got the Force Forsbergs M from Grid Life. Did some work on that. Time to work on this.